What is going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Hand of Fate 2. Back at it again with our handsome boy here. Oh, it's Dakota Dream, if you forgot. We just did the High Priestess level um, in the last video. We didn't get the gold token. I think we only got the, the silver token. Uh, so we didn't complete that all the way through. I haven't decided... Um, if we're gonna go back to that in a later episode, how about, let me know in the comments if you want me to go back and try that again. I think we're gonna try and get better cards before we go, if we do go back. But let me know if you want me to do that, or if you just want me to breeze through all the, uh, the, the places, whether I beat them and get the gold token or not. But, uh, without any further ado, let us continue! All right, let's start. I do not know what the usurper has done with my game. He will have improved it, I am sure, as I improved the game of my predecessor. All right, we got two choices here, the Emperor or the Empress. Um, I think we'll just go in order um, as they're displayed here. So let's, let's do the Empress. Let's this game out. is merely the lesser game. It is not the true game of life and death, merely. Yeah, let's try that. Hopefully, hopefully we have enough food. All right, let's do this. In this case, the Empress is a symbol. A leader of the northern clans, but not their only one. Now we come to one of the new nuances of our game. The hunt for fame and esteem would not work for all players, but it works for you. I can sense it in you. Your pride. Your skill. In time, we will learn all of you. Raiders have destroyed our village. They were sent by a dark shaman of the north, the Elder of Talos explains. They were searching for this. He draws a large warhammer from his cloak. Pretha's ire. It is the only weapon that will break the seal protecting their encampment. He hands you the weapon. Oh, Anger hell is yeah. a powerful force. The shockwave with the knockdown. Stun, dope, dope. Fame required 20. Okay, so I'm guessing I need 20 fame to equip this weapon. Makes sense. Okay, so I will store it. That's cool that I have it. Uh, earn fame by completing encounters. Okay, should be easy enough. The other looks straight into your eyes as you, as though peering into your soul. Not all weapons are, not all weapons are for all men. Only those who have demonstrated great acts of valor and courage may be bear Ritha's ire. The Elder looks straight into your eyes as though peering into your soul. Not all weapons are for all men. Only those who have demonstrated great acts of valor and courage may bear Ritha's ire. Ritha's ire? Ritha's ire? Ritha's ire? You do well to remember that. Alright, let's go. You must find the courage to wield this weapon and to defeat the shaman before the fifth village falls. The villages need a hero. The town of Brayden is surely in danger and must be warned. The King's Road. Okay. Thank you. I trust the sacrifice of Talos not go in vain. May the gods bring you good fortune. And we're off. Cool. Can I sell anything? Oh, <laughs> I can sell that? That's hilarious. Um, no. Buy any food. I only have 10 coin. I probably shouldn't spend anything, right? Oh, but I only have 4 food? What the f... God damn, food's expensive. God, I need some. God damn. That sucks. Okay. Drive a hard bargain, dude. 
At what point does honor bend oh, this to pragmatism? Bitch. All right. Probably not gonna win, but let's find out. <laughs> within games, within. Oh games. hell yeah, dude! Let's go. Hey, what do you got to say now, bitch? Thank you. The woman says, as you help her from her carriage. Please accept this as a token of my gratitude. Oh, sick. Oh, sick. Okay. I didn't really need to buy all that food and burn all my money, but that's cool. And I got some fame. All right. Onward. Here's a token oh, for hell you, yeah. if you can earn it. While strolling the docks of Iron Peak, a tattooed woman calls to you from a small fishing sloop. As she shakes your hand, she introduces herself as Rana, Raina Ishmael, captain of the SS Remarkable. You look strong of arm and sure of aim. Have you considered a career in the fast-paced world of deep-sea harpoon pitching? I can say that I haven't. It's a popular pastime among the kinds of folks who need to prove their physical prowess, she says. I can get you out in the water right now, or for a little extra gold, I know where I can acquire a premium harpoon. It'll help your steady aim. Behind her, the sea beckon screwed fish now purchase the pr I don't have any money! Captain Reyna sails your boat away from the docks out into the open waters. As the shoreline disappears, Reyna drops anchor. You need me to tell you how this works, or are you ready to throw some harpoons around? Definitely want some instructions. She puts one arm on your shoulder and points down into the water. We call that the ocean. It's got fish in it. If you throw your harpoon down there and it hits one, I'll pull it up for you. You'll want to be careful of the reef wall. If your harpoon ends up in there, you might as well kiss it goodbye. The deeper you go, the bigger the fish, though you can never be too certain what you'll catch. Finally, there's a shipwreck way down there, an old merchant vessel. See the gold shimmer? Glimmer? Come on, dude. If you need a target fair and true, I'd aim for that. You raise the harpoon over your head and hurl it into the churning ocean. Oh shit, what? The pendulum swings like a scythe, bearing hope or failure. Alright, we're obviously going to go for the gold. Let's see what happens. I'm trying to get the pattern here. Alright, 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 alright. Oh my god! Poorly done. You must harness your will and find the quiet stillness inside you. Dude, my aim is trash. Your harpoon hits the water with a sad splash and disappears. Go on, you can do better than that. You raise the harpoon over your head and hurl it into the churning ocean. Oh, I get to try again? Hell yeah. <laughs> uh. And... Oh my god! Dude, I suck! <laughs> uh, the day's still young. Have another go. Oh man, this chick is like just pitying me at this point. God damn. Okay. See, you just took a couple, Nicely couple tries. Timed. Your harpoon descends further into the reef. Wait, what? Oh god. Okay. Oh, just barely. I should not have won that. <laughs> the harpoon descends into the lowest reaches of the reef. The merchant vessel's treasure glitters tantalizingly on the ocean floor. Oh shit. What if I miss it? And... Oh! Let's go! Breathe. You have done well. Rana holds your catch up onto the, the deck. of life and of death. Oh shit, wait. An artifact? Name a spell that deals 50 damage to the first enemy it hits. Cause more damage when your life is low. Oh, I need fame to wear it. That's dope. Okay, we'll store that. Among the coins and confused sea urchins, you spy a curious gauntlet. It hums with arcane power as you slide it over your hand. Well done. Let's go! The sun hangs low on the horizon. She raises the anchor and says, Time to return to the docks and to distribute the sea's bounty. Reyna scoops a pile of gold coins out of the waterlogged treasure chest. Not what I was expecting to haul up, but good enough. Hey, I get my money back. Let's go. Reyna gives you a casual salute, a bucket of chum dangling from her arm. If you ever want to go out in the water again... You know where to find me. Sweet. Children are always right, the ones on. to suffer most. 
They have an excess of capacity for it. You linger near a fort in the abandoned docks of the great city. Malaclips siddles? Sid siddles? Out of an alley and strokes his mustache. Well, coin slave, the Empire has stolen the mage children and hidden away them here. Now, I'm not fond of children, as you well know. But Ira won't give me the cure if we don't rescue them. He outlines the plan for you. It is worryingly, worryingly brief. These forts are all interconnected, so even if we defeat one lot of guards, they're bound to call reinforcements. We'll have to get in and get out quick. Defeat two steel monster cards within 60 seconds. Okay. Musket of steel. Okay. Okay, got it. Blah, blah, blah. The self-portrait is particularly generous. Find a way in. Ask about the plan again. Ask why the Empire would kidnap mage children. Probably to kill them. Um, alright. Oh, what the f- I only have one chance? Oh my god. At the exact moment you leave your hiding spot, a soldier swings the gates wide open. You and the soldier lock guys. Intruders! Oh, hell. I have to defeat all of these in 60 seconds? The rough stone walls narrow of a narrow passageway grate against your skin as you feel your way through the sewers. You stumble blindly into Malaclips and clumsily plunge into the water. Okay. The commotion rouses a group of corrupted creatures taking refuge in the sewers. They don't take kindly to your intrusion. I thought I was fight fighting soldiers. I'm starting to not like mal clips, I ain't gonna lie. I hope this works. Let's go, bitches. Nice dodge, nice dodge. Okay, you're dead. Pass y'all. damage. Final monstrosity falls, gurgling Malaclips gazes at the bodies with a troubled look on his face. This one is wearing a necklace. Looks like a family heirloom. You peer up at the access tunnel. It is set too high into the wall. You won't be able to go back that way, okay? Explore some more. Oh, shit. I actually don't know if that animation, like, means anything. But even if it did, I can't follow the cards. I'm too freaking stupid. Damn! <laughs> Unusual shapes bob in the sewer and water. But you've no interest in investigating further. Find a way out. Yeah. I feel like I missed out on something. Oh well. Dude, I have no clue. Okay, thank God. Malaclips beckons you to a wrought iron gate. If I'm not mistaken, and I never am, this will take us directly into the fort. He allows you to go first. You find yourself in a cellar. There are wine caskets, jars of pickled vegetables, and a sizable iron cage wreathed in pulsing light. Within the cage, the missing mace children huddle. Cool. Malaclips reaches for the heavy lock upon the gates. The cage's gate. It sizzles. By freighters... By freighters skirts that burns. Try saying that five times fast. You attempt to pick the lock. Oh, here we go. That is too small for me to go for it, so I'm just gonna go for that thing in the middle. It's tough. Oh, I'm always too early. Even when things appear impossible, they can be mastered. Keep practicing. Sweating with anxiety, your hands slip and the lockpick stabs into your palm. Oh, that's... I should not lose health for giving myself a paper cut. 
Okay, here we go. Trying again. <laughs> yeah, I'm going too early. I need to need to figure that out. With a click, the lock pops open and clatters to the floor. Okay, children, your mother and I are going to kill the bad men. You stay here, unless we die, in which case you're on your own. You sneak up the stairs and survey the scene before you. The soldiers mill about the fort's courtyard. Maliclips draws his spellbook. I have an incantation that will co covertly teleport a few soldiers far away from here. Potentially to their deaths, but it will require some of your blood. Um, yeah, I, I remember the challenge where we had to defeat these cards in 60 seconds, so let's get rid of some of them. I got plenty of life, so hopefully it doesn't take too much. Oh, max life. Okay. Interesting. The wheel is one of my favorite oh, innovations. It combines many different elements of our game into one. Okay, we are diving in this episode. Okay, how the fuck am I supposed to do this? Okay. I can't even see which... Okay. Do, do y'all see it, like, glitching, or... Oh, this is so fucking... Fuck it. You're joking. or choose again. Yeah, I'm gonna redraw. Bye, Maliclips. I know this is your story, but you're, you're taking a seat. Dude, like, what am I supposed to do? Maliclips' oh intended dear. projectile flies off in the wrong Move direction. Move faster next time. Defeat three. I'm not gonna be able to do kill all three of them in 60 seconds. We'll try one more time. Okay, that wasn't that bad. One more time. God damn. Okay. That's what I was aiming for. Shadows envelop a group of soldiers patrolling near the wall. They tumble to the ground before vanishing from sight. Okay. This is a lot more doable. Let's do this. You straight into the courtyard and draw your weapon. Alright, we can do this. We don't have mallet clips, but I think we can do this. Oh yeah, we're facing this musket guy for the first time. Deadly at a distance. They fire heavy attacks. Defend with a shield or evade. Okay. Let's get these range boys first. Ow, bitch. Ow, bitch. Come on. Ow, god damn. I don't know if I'm able to do this. on him real quick. 15 seconds. There's no, there's no way. Ow! I have lost so much life already. 6 seconds. Can he do it, ladies and gentlemen? No, I blocked! No! So close, man. I'm definitely not getting this token, and I've lost so much shit because of it. With the blare of a horn, scores of Empire Guards fill the courtyard. Malaclips flings a crackle of blinding sparks. Come, we cannot hope to save the children now. We can only hope to return later. Damn, bro. Golly, that's tough. Okay. Let's move forward. Let us see what the next town holds. Uh, yes, we're gonna keep going. Dude, that actually sucked. I'm in such a bad position now. Do not take lightly the mantle of fame. Being a figurehead is not without consequences. You arrive at Brayden to find it under attack from raiders. As the village burns, three brave farmers attempt to defend the last of the surviving villagers. Please help, we must stop these savages before all is lost. 
I guess I gotta go. Let's check the inventory. See what, uh... Alright, that's fine. Oh, that's right. I don't have enough fame to use that yet. That'll be fun to use, though. Alright. Let's go. Dude, I don't know if I'm gonna recover from that last, uh... Encounter. That was crazy. Big damage, big damage. Nice. Bash him. Nice, nice, nice. Dead. Oh, I did not mean to press that. Son of a bitch. Come on, I need to repose some of you fools. Come on, attack me! Hit me! These guys do not want to play! Oh, well, I asked them to do that and they did, but I wasn't ready. You did. Ow! I gotta stop button mashing, like... Gotta start actually think about what I'm doing. damage though. We're gonna go with this since we're up to deal with northerners. Uh, yes. The surviving villagers rush to the farmer's aid and tend to their wounds. Thank you, hero. You have saved our people, but sadly our village is no more. Please accept a small token for fame. And more food. Let's go. Okay, yeah, I definitely did not need to buy food at the beginning of this. It is not time to celebrate. They're surely mustering to raid the town of Taran. Taran. They point further south down the riverbank. If you are a true, he true hero, you will surely save them. Oh, okay. Um, let's go here first. In your life, you will have wandered endless intersections. Oh. Yet this one sticks with you. Why? What is it in your memory that catches here? Alright, so Fork in the Road reveals some cards. You arrive at a signpost detailing the possible path east and west. That's pretty clutch. Okay. We got Mal Eclipse back. And we got some money. We can buy some stuff. No, we can't. Not really. What does this do? Charge Bash. Because this is done. Do more damage, the more life you lose in combat. Okay, gain three gold. Whenever you interesting, take 50 hits in combat to get this shard. Okay. Um, since that'll take away all of my money, I don't really want that right now. Defend adds plus one to the charge. Every third step does not consume food. Oh, that's clutch. Okay, too bad I can't buy it. Um, gain 10 max life if you have more blessings and curses. Um, I don't have any blessings, but I did lose some life, so, actually, nah, I'll be alright. Anything I can sell? Not really, I'm gonna try and use that. Um, keep that. Yeah, I think I'm good here. Check out what this cartographer guy is. Wealth through exploration. We have many lands to discover, you and I. If you cannot make use of this, I will question your skills. A traveling cartographer in the process of making the first full map of the Empire wishes to pay you gold for information on areas you have seen in your recent travels. I need not know every stream or stone that lies from here to the capital. I'm sure whatever knowledge you can provide will be some worth. Uh, so 
So if I return later and discover all of these, will you give me more money? You know what? We'll test that. I'll come back. Yeah, I'll come back. You strike okay, here as the type who would put themselves in harm's way for the benefit of others. Yet, perhaps you'd rather have someone else sacrifice themselves for you. You hear shouting up ahead. As you make your way down the cobbled street, you see lights flickering in the road. As you approach, you see a building. Flames and smoke billowing out of its upper room windows. A crowd has formed outside, passing buckets of water between one another to temper the blaze. As you push your way through the crowd, you see a woman frantically pleading to the villagers, Please help, my family's in there. I am not letting you attempt. Here, I'll try it. Okay, this was a bad idea. Okay, it's going slower now. Alright, focus. Okay, so it, it's... It stops sooner, it, it rotates slower, I'm guessing it can have more or less cards. Like, this this is so unpredictable, it's almost not fair. Um, yeah, we're gonna redraw, screw that. Alright, so it's very slow. And it stops almost immediately, so... There we go. Through the haze Excellent. of smoke, you find the a woman's youngest daughter. Decision. Crying under a bed, you coax her out, scoop her up, and carry her out of the blaze. The villager rushes to your right. Thank you, brave adventurer. I can take it from here. But be warned, the building is not safe. It will soon collapse. My husband. Did you see my husband? He's still in there. Oh, okay. I'll try it again. Okay, is it going? F isn't it going faster now? Like, what the fuck? What am I supposed to do? No way. That was a complete guess. Okay, bed. You find a woman's son attempting to find his way out of the smoke. Grabbing his hand, you lead him back through the building safely. Now the power is yours. Yes. Tonight. Cool. So I'm gaming. I'm guessing I have to save the last person in here to get the token. Might as well. Yeah, there's only one left, right? Yeah, and it's going super fast. Alright, this is going to be tough. Yeah, not even, not even close. I don't know how, I don't know how you're supposed to do that. The smoke is too thick and you find yourself disoriented. Eyes burning, you fumble through your way back out of the building and catch your breath. Okay, try that again. More pain cards, and I saw some huge failures in there, so this could be bad. Oh shit! I don't think there's there's no way. It's a complete guess. You hear a shrill cry as a beam in the next room collapses. The fire claims a victim. As you exit the building, it collapses behind you. Oh, that was sad. I got a lot of fame though. Okay. So that card is used to farm some fame, and uh, yeah, that's that's gonna be tough moving forward. Anyways, when the hero runs in, the villain takes their time to bait their trap. Be careful, lest they put you in your place. A party of northerners charges at you as you break free. I've been ambushed. Okay. That was pretty straightforward. Let's show these northerners what's up. Oh, and I got my artifact too. I'm gonna try that shit out. Okay, so Q is artifact. All right, let's get it. Right off the bat. Oh, I get to aim it. Cool. Nice. That's tight. I want to get good at reposting, low-key. Nice. Gonna bash you. Deal some damage? At 
This sword makes it easy mode fighting these guys. Alright. Take you down. Boom! That is sick. Dead. That artifact is pretty tight. Oh hell yeah! Can a mighty weapon now? for a mightier warrior than you, I think. Um, I'm actually not going to equip it. Equip it. I'm going to keep using Winter's Bane. Hopefully, try and get this up a little bit. So I'll keep it, but I'm not going to use it. Um, while the Raider's defeated, you contemplate your next move. Yeah, I'm going to search for some spoils. Let's go. Dude, I... There's got to be a system to this. Because... I don't... I have no idea, no idea if it's random or legit. i got to figure that out. As you search for valuables, one of the northerners grabs you. With the last breath, he... Runs his blade into your side. Yeah. It appears you are worthy to wield the weapon of champions. The raiders will hide from you no longer. You turn her desire over in your hands. The rune on its face begins emitting a golden light. It is unclear if it now weighs less or if you have found a newfound strength, but either way, you can now wield the mighty hammer. Cool. Remembering that the elder Talos' instruction, you set out towards the sanctum. Okay. Uh, let's figure out what this one is, and then we're going to go back to the cartographer and get some more money. Actually, do I even... Yeah, 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 we're going to do that. A vampire water. cannot okay. cross running water. These days, you must deal with far more mundane I can, opposition. I can fight these dudes. Let's get it! These dudes don't stand a chance! up with this ba bam let's get him first so we don't have to worry about him big damage big damage let's go Oh, I wasn't paying attention. You're dead. Last one. You're about to get it. Bash. Dead. Y'all are so easy to defeat. More fame. Nice. And I got some life back. Let's go. And some more life. Let's go. This cartographer. Yeah, I do get more gold. Hell yeah. Okay. You spent several hours in the company, in his company, until he's satisfied that you have nothing else useful to. What? Why don't I get that token, dude? That's some shit. All right, with my Can't money, let's see if I can buy anything. a chance to see what your companion has to say about your current challenge. What can I buy? Oh, that's kind of pointless. I don't have any blessings, do I? No, I don't. Okay. So I don't need to be here. But what I will do is I will actually equip desire for this last fight here. Okay. Break camp. Go up to the sanctum. You have prepared yourself for this battle. Now you must face it, but not alone, perhaps. It is as the Talos Elder said. The Shaman Sanctum is protected by a magical barrier. Best you try that hammer. You raise Freeth desire above your head and bring it down against the magical wall with all your might. 
the hammer finds its mark and you are immediately engulfed in a blizzard of snow and ice. The howling wind spins you this way and that, then vanishes quickly as they happened. Disoriented, look around for Malaclips, but he's nowhere to be found. Oh, he gone. You find your bearings and realize you are standing in a forest clearing covered in a newly fallen snow. You step back and bump into something. Turning, you see a towering northern clansman, bald and brutal. He has brute strength, if nothing else. He does not flinch, nor does he, nor seems even the slightest bit interested in you. He stands with weapons drawn and brow lowered. You turn to follow his gaze. Holy shit. Then you see her, sitting on a throne of wicker and thorns. Small straw-plated charms and oddities hanging from the trees. Before her kneel countless raiders worshipping their leader in an eerie stillness. Okay, I'm going to attach this guy again, since we'll be fighting them. The defender of villages and the exiled one, the shaman says. I know why you have come. Let this end. I hope you know how to fight, hero, says the bald northerner. There are more warriors here than we can kill. To defeat a snake, you must cut off its head. You ready your weapon as the shaman and her clansmen surround you. Alright, so it sounds like we want to attack the shaman first. Head of the snake. So let's see how that goes. Raid Leader Gerda. The shaman can cast spells that heal her allies, attack her quickly to enter the Ah, oh, shit, okay. I do not know. Yet we will fight together. Stand clear of my blades. I will stand clear of Oh! What the heck? She can teleport? Big damage, big damage. Let's go. What does he do? Oh, he like stuns them. That's pretty cool. Oh. Get out, get out, get out. Oh, he's dead. Nice. Oh, we don't have to kill the other ones? Oh, okay. Interesting, interesting. The shaman's body writhes and a dark spirit leaves her chest and vanishes into the air. The remaining raiders flee into the forest. As the sky is clear, the sun beams down on the colossal warrior that had fought alongside you. I am Kolbjorn, he explains. I was born in the northern clans, but I am clanless now. You do not know us, but we were not always like this. Perhaps one day the clans will return to the tradition they have lost. You have befriended Kolbjorn, the wanderer. Dope. What's up, dude? You and I have cleared a small part of the stain from my honor this day. If you call, I will answer. Let us head back and find your friend. And with that, you and Colbjorn make your way back through the forest in search of Malaclips. Another card returns to my deck. Do not worry. I have more challenges before you will be ready to face my foe. Cool. Well done. All right. Another northerner falls before you, and a new companion joins your journey. Sick. Fame and shame. Watchtower. Raiders ambush. Okay. So this was actually beneficial because it gave me. It gave me. It gave me something. Oh, sweet. Cool. For befriending Kobjorn, I get him and then his quest. Okay. Oh, I did get the gold. Let's go. W's. For defending all of the villages. Elder's gift. Nice. Okay. For landing the catch of the day. Dead man's hand. Okay, cool. So I've unlocked that artifact to use. Sick. We missed out on like three other tokens, but that's alright. Sweet. You, you got that one well. goal. You understand the basic rules of the game now. From here, they will change. All right, we unlock some more places. The Chariot, the Lovers, and the Hierophant. Dope. 
Alright, cool. Well, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me on Hand of Fate 2. This has been fun. That last one was definitely more difficult than the rest. Um, I might have to go back to some of these to try to unlock those cards' tokens so that I can use them in the future. Um, let me know if you want me to do that. That might, you know, prolong the series a little bit uh, before we get to the ending. But yeah, let me know if you want us to continue or if you want us to go back. Whatever works, I'm down for anything. This game's pretty fun. So uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.